Everybody and welcome back to Falcon Plays RimWorld. Uh, last episode we started laying the groundworks to our base into our rooms and whatnot. So my guys, we can finally have some rooms. They can stop complaining about, you know, sharing their own environment and whatnot. So, um, they have spacious rooms. This is the first time I've actually even given these guys big-ass rooms like this. This is actually a little bit overkill, to be quite honest with you, because I have a royal king bed in there. Look at all this room that they have. So, in a way, I'm kind of stunting my own growth. Hopefully, hopefully that's not the case, but... I guess we're gonna roll with this and see how this happens. At least it looks a little bit better. Obviously, it doesn't look good right now because I haven't set up carpeting and whatnot, and that's gonna soon, soon to come, essentially, but... Let's take care of the initiative, or the important stuff first, I should say. Krabs does need a room still, so as soon as they finish out mining one of these guys, I'll probably set up the uh, another room down here for Krebs. And let's see, other than that, oh yeah, let's actually start setting up the kitchen area. That's what I need to do. Kitchen, the cook stove obviously requires power, so we're going to definitely have to ru run some power conduits in through our base here. So how about we do, how is our metal situation? It's still pretty good, and we have a lot of metal to collect anyway still. So, how about we do, um, well, since this, let's actually use these pillars for something, I'd imagine. So, let me set that up like so, and then, as soon as that is built, we will set up the power conduit area over here. Oh, not the power conduit area, but we'll set up the stove and the butcher area over here. We'll set up a little dumping area over here as well, so that the food is pretty much in the same area. And then we'll have that going like so. So, they've built that. Thank you for that, guys. And now, we will go into furniture and see, cook stove. Now, how do we want to do this is a real question here, so we're going to get a little bit creative. So let's make the stove, I'd say, right about there would work out for me. And then we'll make the butcher table. Butcher table does not require any sort of, uh, I guess, uh, power. So that's actually pretty good. It makes sense, too. I mean, you just need a goddamn knife and a uh, body to kind of get food. So maybe... No, no, let's just leave it up against the wall, I'd imagine. That kind of works out pretty good for me. So let's make this the kitchen area. And then, I could have probably more than one cook as well. I don't think I necessarily need that just yet. We'll just probably have one person cooking at all times. And we'll make the butcher area right about here, I suppose. And now, what we're going to do is, ah, uh, let's see. So we have that set up. And let's see, blacksmith workplace. Blacksmith does not require anything. So let's actually set this up like so. And then we'll also set up the stonecutter's table, which also doesn't require that, which is good. So no power required for the stonecutter table, but let's just put it here anyway. Alright, so my guys are sleeping in their nice and cozy rooms. Mario, let me see your thoughts, man. Eight nutrient paste and witness someone's dead. Okay, well, other than the dead and eating a nutrient paste, you're good to go, right? You like your room? Good, right? You're not complaining. Batteries are powered up for the most part as well, so that's actually pretty... eases my mind a bit, honestly. Alrighty, and food still in the hoppers. Okay, and Krebs is over here building that. Krebs, I'm sorry, man. You'll get your room soon enough, man. I'll, I guess, oh, we have a room for Krebs over here already. Alrighty, Krebs, uh, let me just have your room get built then. And, uh, well, it's already built, but let me have it, uh, be completed. So let's put a door right there. And we'll go ahead and run some power conduits down through here. And through here. And then furniture, let's give you a royal bed right about here. And let's make it this way. And a uh, potted plant right here in the corner. I guess that'll work, right? Yeah. And then once we have some power built uh, going in through there, I'll give you your own lamp and whatnot. Let's see, structure-wise, power conduit. Let's make sure this runs into the door so we get the benefit of that uh, electricity. All right. So that'll be good done. And then let's see. So this is already set up. So cook stove, good to go. And so is our butcher table. So now is, um, we want to start setting up the actual, um, the bills to actually get them cooking. But before we even do that, let's actually set up some zones to actually bring stuff in here. Uh, go away, growing zone. I don't need you. So I need a stockpile first and foremost. I guess we can make our stockpile area over on this side. Let's see, this is the butcher, right? So for the butcher, we need obviously bodies. Um, so let's set up a building disconnected. Yeah, I'll get it connected soon, I hope. Stockpile area for, or I guess dumping stockpile, probably a bit of us one right here, right? So let's go with dumping stockpile here. We're gonna have this crazy ass uh, <laughs> dumping area of uh, bodies over here. It's gonna be a really disgusting kitchen, like just bodies everywhere and stuff. But you know what? That's what happens when you go into a kitchen, man. At least the kitchens that I've been into. Have you seen Rocky, uh, Rocky Balboa? I mean, just go or Rocky, any Rocky movies over there, like, you know, in the butcher areas, just fighting meat, you know. That's pretty much what my butcher does in his pastime. Just fights uh, big slabs of uh, muffalo and whatnot. Alrighty, so that's going to be a dumping stockpile. And then, our regular stockpile is going to be over here. 
And what this is going to work for is going to be uh, foods. So let's take res let's take everything off. Let's make this foods, and we'll make this uh, meals, nutrient paste meal, simple meal, fine meal, and lavish meal, and then raw. Mead, vegetarian. Okay, so for raw, we don't want that here. We want the raw on this side. So let's make this like so. So nothing but meals on this one. And let's make this uh, really important. And then this one's going to be here for nothing but, not debris. Debris could kind of go F itself. Corpses. We want corpses here. Not human corpses or mechanoid corpses, though. Alrighty, and then we'll make this important over here. Okay. So that is good to go there. We'll have our little dumping areas, which is good. Now, let's set up a dumping area for our artisan area. And this here is what? Stone cutter? So for stone cutter, we need the rock debris, and for this, we need the slag debris. So let's see how we're going to do this. Um, orders, not orders, but furniture. Oh, you know what? We have a we have an industrial trader, don't we? We definitely do. Uh, Ryan, can you go hang out with the industrial trader really quickly? Forgot all about that. So the people, first and foremost, what do these guys have to offer us and do we have the money for it? I don't think we probably do. No, we do not. We can't afford any of these guys, which kind of sucks. Uh, is there anything I'd sell them quickly? It does not seem like I'll be able to get to that amount. Well, I could if I sell off a lot of this metal, which... Ah, uh, probably shouldn't, but I am really desperate in terms... Well, I'm not desperate. I, I do want to get more people involved, so... Let's see, who, who do they have that I kind of want, first and foremost? Uh, Jude... Growing three, Shmilly three, social ten, eh, okay, mining four, eh, kind of on the fence. Joy wires are usually pretty decent fighters from what I remember. Research five, everything else is kind of eh. Shooting five, melee seven, crafting three, eh. Manual dumb, okay, you are completely out of coming in here, man. Intellect incapable of intellectual or artistic, that's fine, but you are a good grower. Okay, shooting six, mine, oh yeah, yeah, we definitely want Zeke. Zeke indeed, so I'm gonna have to pass up on Jude, I think, as well. Um, raised by animals, fashion, huh? Raised by animals, huh? Apparently this guy's the uh, Princess Mononoke. Uh, growing three, yeah, it's, it's kind of. I come, I'm kind of interested, but not completely sold on the fact. So I need 556 at least to kind of get Zeke, which is the important one here. I think this will pretty much do it for Zeke, I'm sure. 569. <laughs> so let me buy this guy. And if I want to get the joy, if I want to get uh, the joy wire, weaver. Oh no, manual dumb. Never mind. That's completely out of the works. And uh, I said uh, Princess Mononoke. I said would be kind of okay. Three ninety three. That would require. Oh man, that would require a lot of my metal. Do I really want to stunt myself this way? Is the real question. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! That's a, that's a bitter pill to swallow, to be quite honest with you. I'll do it, though. Okay, so we're pretty low on metal now. Now we are completely low. Um, <laughs> it's really my own doing. Uh, so let me set up a sleeping spot right there. Uh, two colonists are idle. Okay. Where did these guys land at? So, um, no, not key. Where are these guys at? <laughs> Where did these guys land at? Uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Where are they? Wait, what? Where are these guys at? Uh, okay. A am I missing something here? Am I in am what? Perhaps Jeff's... Um, not entirely sure where those guys went. What in the world? Guys, where'd you go? I am a little bit at loss for words right now. I just bought those people. It took my metal for sure. It took all my, my silver. Maro, Key, uh, Zeke? Oh, wait a minute. It's, it's Zeke, right? Yeah, I'm freaking out, man. Okay, it's Zeke. Zeke is the guy that we just got right now. <laughs> God, I am tripping out. Uh, I'm sorry if you guys were like screaming at me like, He's right there, Falcon! I apologize, my bad. Uh, and Marl's the other one? No, no. It, Zeke is one of them for sure. <laughs> I am tripping balls over here. And Key, is Key the other one? No, Key's been in the, the, the colony already, right? Yeah. Okay, we're still missing one then. Where, where's the other one? 
I am completely at a loss for words here, man. <laughs> All right, we got Zeke. Uh, that's that's for sure, right? We did get Zeke. Uh, I'm a little bit confused here. I had a Bolt, Krebs, Ryan, Jeff, Sway. No, no, man, we... Morrow's been in the, the club already. Uh, we're missing one person. I bought two slaves. This 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 industrial trader swindled me. Where's my where's my other person? This guy swindled me out of an extra slave. That's a goddamn shame. Zeke, alrighty, Zeke, let me have you. Uh Was it Morrow? Nah, I don't even know, man. <laughs> I am completely confused right now. So Zeke, let me have you, um, I guess equip this clock 19 as I completely lose my mind over here, it seems. Alrighty, Zeke. So what are you you are a pretty good grower for sure, so I need you to have I need you to have growing, man. So let's see, Zeke's gonna be our grower. Let's let's take that off for that. And now as the other grower, let's uh let's kick Batman off of that and make him go into mining. Then Zeke, you can do con cooking, construction, repairing when needed. Warden, warden, plant cutting. Don't worry about the plants, man. Hauling and then cleaning. Okay, that works out pretty good for me. And over here, hauling the weapons away and the bodies as well. Good, and gonna get the rest of the... You know what, guys? Since you're here, and you, uh, I guess, just pick all that stuff up as well. Might as well. I am tripping out so bad. What? What? Did I not buy them? Is that what happened? Okay, I didn't buy them. Okay, I apologize if you guys were like, <laughs> I don't know, man. I thought I bought that person. Okay, uh, that's really conflicting. Oh, I think I sold the metal, but I didn't actually buy the person. Is that what happened here? Three ninety-five. I think that's what happened. Okay, I am an imbecile. I apologize for anybody smacking their head over now. All right, let me buy Jude then. There we go. <laughs> okay, uh, crisis averted, guys. Crisis averted. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, so let's have you, uh, you, let's have you be a warden, uh, not growing, uh, you know what, Key, you could pretty much stop your warding skills for now, and let me have you just mine and plant cut, and I guess that'll work out for you as well, okay, so, um, it's gonna haul off some of that debris, oh, that's actually good that they're hauling that off, because I do have my guys set up for that so let's see now that uh you know we pretty much went through that you know disaster right there i couldn't figure out left from right i'm telling you guys you know you, you guys think i'm joking around when i mention uh early onset alzheimer's it's, it's happening man i i am aging at a rapid pace i'm like the reverse uh, benjamin button um let's see or not that doesn't make any sense i'm jack you know robin williams jack and he's like you know growing extensively fast but whatever uh stone cutter's table so for this we do need a Dumping stockpile, and there's going to be nothing but stone debris, right? So, let's set this up like so. And then we'll set up another one through there. And what I want on this one is going to be nothing but, uh... Since this is the blacksmith's workplace, right? We'll set this up as nothing but, uh, slag debris. No corpses. And we'll make this, uh, preferred. And then over here, it's going to be the difference. The opposite is going to be, uh, rock debris. No corpses, and also important. So there you go. This is going to be a stone cutter. Dumping stockpile for that. Okay, so that's going to work out pretty good for us. And let's just keep this going now. And then over here is going to be the actual stockpile, which I'm not too crazy about that, believe me. I'm going to remove this soon enough. And by the way, this could pretty much uh, go away now. We don't need this now. And so let me delete this zone over here. It was never even used once. Okay. Now, obviously we need cooks. We need uh, designated cooks. We need to add some bills over here. So if that's going to be the case, um, we don't exactly have any meat just yet. So we need a butcher first and foremost. So it's probably in our best interest if we can. Let me see what I can do here. Um, somebody is... Who is sleeping on this one? Somebody feels like... Uh, I'm not even sure Um, who sleeps there. <laughs> doesn't tell me when I zoom in. So Krebs and Unknown. So let's see, Krebs still needs to um, exit away from there. But since those rooms are ready, let me actually set up a royal bed over through this side. Is that what I was doing? No, no, I was doing it this side. And then this side. All right, and then let's set up a potted plant at the entrance doorway, which is to this side. 
Alrighty, and then set up a door here and here. And then power conduit over here and over here. And let's just forward this really quickly. And as soon as this is built, then I'll set up... Actually, I can set up the one lamp over on the top side already. So let me set up my standing lamp. Oh, this doesn't reach. Oh, I guess... What? Oh, are these rooms bigger? Oh, that's a damn shame that these rooms are bigger. Must be nice. These guys are going to have, like, the uh, bigger rooms back here. Alright, whatever. I think these rooms might be bigger, quite honestly. <laughs> that's the case, and... Oh, well. Alright, uh, so standing lamp over here, and a standing lamp right about there. Okay. There you go. Industrial Trader has left the comms range. Okay. And everything good so far, though. Uh, we're sl uh, we're hauling off that debris, it seems, so that our stonecutter got some uh, business to work with right there, which is always good. And let's see, what else do we need to focus on, then? Um, I suppose the next thing in our docket over here would probably be... I want to extend this... Uh, I guess uh, solar panel area so we can get rid of this and kind of not worry about cave-ins over here. Oh, speaking of which, there's another uh, rock debris area here. And slag debris over here. So, um... Let's assume that we could haul this off over away as well so we could kind of get the other area going. Same with this over here and nothing else over here does not seem that way. But let's also get... What? Well, I'm trying to haul debris. You're not letting me. Let's go ahead and delete the zone, essentially, then, and, uh... There you go. And then let's make this, uh... Hollable as well. Okay. And that'll be moved over here for sure. Uh, probably more than we need, but whatever. Um, other than that, we need uh, some lights in here as well, because it's kind of really dark for them to be working in there. They need some light, man. If you're gonna be, you know, bigging our cook and our chef and an artisan, you need, uh, light. Obviously, it's not gonna work out too well. Uh, so let's see here. We're gonna definitely get ourselves some furniture, get a standing lamp. Uh, I guess this would probably illuminate most of the area, right? So let's set this up like so. Alright, and as soon as oh, those belts are those beds are built, so Jude and Zeke have their own bed over there. Krebs, uh, you do have a room, right, Krebs? Ryan has a room. Yeah, so Krebs, um, let me go ahead and deconstruct this for you, buddy. And now you have your own room to kind of go sleep to in case you need to sleep. Excellent. Alright, it's actually looking pretty good now. I'm really excited about what the uh, what we're doing over here for sure. And we have our situation set up here. Now, the only thing we need to do, obviously, is actually just light this room up. And then we'll set up some bills to actually start having my guys cook and whatnot. So, I mean, for the most part, though, this is looking a lot good. Really good. Uh, I'm not going to resort to cannibalism just yet, but uh, the option is always there. So how about we ended up with this over here today, guys? And hopefully you enjoyed the episode, and hopefully you're enjoying the series so far. If you are, I encourage you to click that thumbs up button. The support really does mean a lot. And other than that, I will catch you guys next time.